Jirazi with Matt Jirazi. No. <laughs> I'm trying to work on my radio voice. It's, it's working good. It's working. I'm going to have to back just for one there. Come on. Hey, so listen. First of all, congratulations on... Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you. Just to know if you have any pre-game rituals that you go through, like before you go on stage, you, you pace around 40 times, you eat something before you go on stage? I usually have a glass of water and... Uh, the thing is, I always stand right in front of the mirror, and I do the whole, like, it's go time. Really? Yeah. I, I just, I, I don't know why there's a mirror right in our dressing room, right in our quick change room. Right before I go out, we go in there, and, you know, they, and I always have, like, a minute alone. And I don't, I don't request it. It just happens like that. And I'm just like, I guess I'll stare into the mirror. <laughs> and I'm like, you got this, boy. You know what I mean? Like, just kind of prep yourself. It's kind of cool. Are you yeah. writing right now for your own record? What's going on? Yeah, I've written a couple songs on the piano. I found some uh, piano lobby pianos like at the hotels, and I'll, I'll get on there and write. But um, I'm really focusing on um, a new competition that I'm the new host of on Yobi.tv. Uh, it's called Make the Cut. So it's a singing competition. And, uh, yeah, and it's like an online thing, and I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum. So I'm the, you know, I'm the new judge slash mentor. What are you looking for as a judge on being on the side? What, what are you looking for? You know, I'm looking for uh, someone who sings with passion, someone who's different, and um, someone who's confident in what they do, and, you know, someone who believes in themselves. So, you know, we're always looking for someone who's just, who loves the music and not just, not just up there because it's just fun. You know what I mean? So. What's your dream collaboration, Matt? Well, who would, like, if you had your choice, your dr and, you know, carte blanche, you can, you can, uh, <laughs> Collaborate with anybody you want, dead or alive. Let's go yeah. live. Okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'd love to uh, work with One Republic. Um, I'd love to do something with the Fray. And even like in the Christian type market, I'd love to work with like Michael W. Smith or Kirk Franklin or something like that. I mean, they're just artists that I grew up with and uh, really uh, influenced me as a musician. It'd be cool to work with them for sure. Cool. Last question for you. Um, since the Hollywood community's lost a couple of icons from Michael Jackson to Kurt Fawcett, so we've had a lot of tragedy in the last couple of weeks. I'm curious to know if you yourself think about legacy at all and how you want people to remember you by. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, that's a good question. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I, I just want to be a respected musician. I mean, I've never really worried about being the most famous or I don't get like jealous of people who get more attention, but at the end of the day, I really want to be a respected piano player singer. That's that, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to get out there. I want to play music. I want to do it as a career. And um, that's what I always told myself. You know, I, I don't have to be the most, the richest guy in the world and the most famous guy, but I just can't wait to play music forever. That's what I want to do. You know, well, touch people. You're on your way, man. We appreciate yeah. your time. Well, thanks, man. Hey, what's up, Rocker Razzi? It's Matt Gerard here, shouting you out. See you next time.